Welcome back, and as we said in our intro, we are going to shed more light on the Egyptian participation in one of the tourism fairs, this time held in Austria, and it's uh, Freien Miss Wien. Well, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone Mr. Ahmed Nourdin, our uh, tourism expert, to shed with us more light on the event and uh, on our participation there. A very good morning to you, sir, and happy Ramadan. Good morning, Nermeen. Happy Ramadan. Let's start with uh, introducing to our viewers this fair. Uh, first, I hope that I'm pronouncing it well. I've tried to Google it, and it's Vril Misvin. Hello? Sorry. Yes, I don't hear what. Sir, can you hear me? I can hear now, yes. Yeah. Great. Uh, would you please, sir, we would like, we would like first to uh, focus or to shed more light on the fair itself. Uh, this uh, exhibition is uh, uh, so important uh, uh, for Egypt and uh, considered uh, maybe the most important mass uh, tourism exhibition specialist in the Austrian uh, tourism market, uh, in which Austria and uh, Australian and international uh, tourism companies uh, participate as it is the most important uh, annual uh, uh, tourism professional uh, event. So this is uh, uh, important also and opportunity for uh, uh, or to discuss with the representative uh, and uh, tour operators and uh, 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 airlines uh, companies to discuss uh, uh, everything and to discuss uh, uh, anything which uh, can increase the uh, number of tourism uh, from these markets uh, to Egypt. So it's so important uh, to participate in this one and in any other uh, international uh, exhibition. As far as I know, for, for me, for example, that Berlin and our participation in Berlin uh, tourism exhibition is really very important. And from Berlin to Austria, how do you see this market for us? I mean, when it comes to the European markets, where are they if I'm going to prioritize or to list the important um, uh, markets of our tourism? Uh, uh, Australia, uh, Austrian uh, market is uh, one of the most important uh, European uh, tourism market for Egypt, especially uh, since the uh, Australian tourist is one of those who, uh, with high spending and uh, the most uh, demand also uh, of uh, many kinds of uh, uh, tourism uh, in Egypt, like uh, uh, Nile tourism product, uh, Nile cruises. Uh, uh, in addition to visit uh, and stay in other uh, uh, beach cities like Orgada, uh, Sharm el Sheikh, uh, uh, Marsa Alam, and also Cairo. So uh, uh, it's so important uh, because they spend the money uh, when they come also to Egypt. In what type many of tourism they are interested, sir? I mean, are they interested more in uh, the entertainment um, tourism or the cultural museum, uh, the cultural tourism, meaning museums and our monuments in Luxor, Aswan, and stuff like that, or all of them? Which which kind? I, I mentioned that they are interesting with many kind of uh, uh, tourism in Egypt, especially uh, uh, the Nile uh, products like uh, the Nile cruises. Uh, they are interesting to do that. At the same time, also they are visiting uh, uh, the beach cities, so the uh, entertainment uh, uh, tourism and the beach tourism also when they go to uh, visit uh, uh, our uh, uh, Red Sea uh, uh, beaches in Orgada, Sharm el Sheikh, uh, Marsa Alam, and also they come to uh, uh, to connect this visit with the cultural uh, visit uh, to do uh, or to visit Cairo, to visit the uh, pyramids, the Saqqara museums, uh, uh, Cairo, do, do their uh, normal uh, or cultural tours and return again for uh, the beach, but they are interesting also with uh, Nile cruises and with Nile uh, uh, products. Uh, 
Mm. So this is uh, important for uh, many kind of uh, tourism that we have in Egypt, uh, 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 not only cultural, uh, but also beach uh, 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 tourism and the other uh, kind of tourism. So when uh, they come, uh, we can see many uh, sectors of our uh, tourism working with uh, uh, Australian uh, tourists. So the homework of our, uh, from our side before going to participate in, whether in this exhibition or in any other international one all over the world, to have our new map, our, to be accurate, our new additions, our new discoveries, taking into consideration that the Grand Egyptian Museum is going to be a leap when it comes to the cultural uh, tourism in general. How do you see the importance of doing our homework well before going to such exhibitions? Uh, we do it uh, now. I see that we uh, Ministry of Tourism is doing uh, well, uh, and we had seen in the last uh, uh, two or three years many uh, of uh, inaugurations of this uh, museum. Like uh, we have uh, a number, a big number of tourism after the inauguration of the uh, National uh, Civilization Museum of Egypt was this big uh, celebration that we had. And uh, like we are waiting the, uh, the inauguration of the Grand Egyptian uh, Museum, uh, hope that we will uh, be able to open uh, uh, by the end of this year, or uh, we don't know exactly when, but it is, uh, uh, it makes uh, all uh, the world uh, uh, speaking about uh, the uh, new museums and the uh, inauguration of the new museum, the new excavations that we have uh, everywhere. Uh, uh, many people are waiting the uh, opening of the Grand Egyptian uh, uh, Museum. Uh, and also uh, this uh, development of uh, uh, the sector of uh, tourism uh, in all uh, of Egypt and how, they, uh, uh, and how we connect uh, uh, between uh, uh, governorate and uh, connect different tourist uh, uh, cities uh, and uh, uh, facilitate the movement of uh, tourists between uh, uh, tourist destinations. So this is, uh, we have many uh, uh, new things that uh, it may uh, easy to visit and to see. And also we have new uh, uh, excavation and the new museum that added uh, a new uh, parts of the map of tourism uh, of Egypt. Yes, sir. Uh, one final question, a little bit far from the exhibition. It's about Ramadan and Al Eid. Uh, Eid al-Fitr. How do you see um, uh, Ramadan and Al-Eid as another season for tourism attracting um, attracting our guests? I'm not going to be tourists, uh, to say tourists this time, from all over the Arab and Islamic world to enjoy um, a happy Ramadan here and Al-Eid here. It's so important for the uh, tourists to see uh, uh, the month of Ramadan and the, the feast and the Eid al-Fitr because they see uh, something they will like uh, uh, and interesting to see uh, the people, how they are uh, living, how they, are, uh, uh, how they practice their uh, religion and how they are uh, celebrating. So when we'll see the decoration of the mosques and the houses, uh, uh, and uh, it is so important and ask about the uh, customs and the habits and uh, everything that they are seeing, something uh, outside of this uh, uh, cultural visit and uh, monuments and museum. This part is so important to see the daily life and to see and to know uh, uh, many things about our uh, habits and the custom and the religion and uh, everything. And sure, they're, they're going to turn back to their um, countries with unforgettable moments. Ramadan in Egypt is different. Well, uh, Mr. Ahmed Inwardin, our tourism expert, thank you very much for your input, sir, and have a very good day. And by this, we come to the end of our episode. Stay tuned on Mar TV International always for more updates. And for more details, please log on to www.nileinternational.net. Many thanks for watching. This is Nurmin Abdurrahman signing off.